Helen here. Thanks, Ria. <laughs> so, some of you might remember Viola Power, and she recently, as in recently, as in today, did a video where she tried to follow my BB-8 tutorial. It's really cool. Go and check it out. I'll put a link somewhere. So anyway, since, you know, two can play at this game, I've decided I'm also going to do a video following a tutorial and I'm going to try and follow her marionette tutorial for a miraculous ladybug. So yeah, let's see how we do. So just gonna do a wig cap. I don't have a very good wig for this, but whatever, we'll make it work. I actually don't know when or why she has a wig that's so similar to my BB-8 wig, and I'm really curious as to what she's got it for. She's probably told me and I've just forgotten. Why is there always this one bit right in front of my ear? Just <sighs> using hairpins of the wrong colour, cause who cur? Certainly not I. Oh, I'm beginning to remember why this wig cap was left out now because it's a bit small. Too late to turn back now. There we go, right. So Rhea uses slightly different concealer methods to me, mainly because she has better skin than I do. And she's using a liquid concealer, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna, but she said in the video, just do your foundation routine the way you normally do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and she was like, oh, I just blend it out, so. I'm gonna get a blending sponge and I'm gonna use implements that aren't my fingers. So there, I can do it. It's just gonna look awful because I hate using them. I don't have a brush. Unlike her, I don't have a foundation brush. So blending sponges it is. This is one mole. Well, just gonna have a mole. Foundation. Like I say, I'm not using any of the products that she's using because I'm not gonna buy new stuff. See, look, I'm doing it on the back of my hand, all proper like. Although I did have someone tell me that you're not supposed to use blending sponges to actually put stuff on, but flip it. They're like, oh, I use this blending sponges for blending, not for putting makeup on. But you know what? That is for people who have brushes. <laughs> and I do not, so there we go. Right, what comes next? Oh, wait, she did a concealer after her foundation. Oh, whoops. Maybe I will use foundation. Concealer on top of foundation. Because there is bits that are just not working for me. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, more. Just have to accept it. Except that I just have a beauty spot there. Powder. Powder comes next. I'm just gonna slap my powder on here. See, Rhea was saying in this video that she did of like, oh, it's the no filter of makeup tutorials, which I guess, I guess is meant as a compliment. I guess, Rhea, you meant it as a compliment, to which I will fully coo and say that half the reason I do that is because the only really person that I watch who does makeup tutorials is Sailor J. And anyone who's watched Sailor J knows. Right, so now we get into the eyeshadow. I don't have the exact palette. I don't have the exact palette that she's using, but I have a couple of my, I have a couple of nude palettes here. So we're gonna see if I can replicate it. Which of these is closer? Probably this. Mary Rose Rose because she knows that I'm awful and I own no neutral palettes gave me this which is freedom pro 12 audacious 3 so i'm gonna use this palest one here look Rhea. look at me i'm doing i'm even using the makeup applicators be proud oh that doesn't look too bad actually okay where's my eye watering i bet mean, it's because i used a beauty blend to blend foundation over my eye normally i put a primer on before i put eyeshadow on but we're following a tutorial so that's my excuse I also have an unfortunate habit of packing makeup on too thick, so I need to stop myself. That was one thing that Rhea discovered to her detriment when she tried to follow my tutorial, was my habit of not telling people how thick I'm packing stuff on. There we go, that'll do, that'll do. When was it the brown? So next, next is a light brown. Mm, I think we might have to break out the, the big guns. <laughs> I literally got this because I was like, okay, pretty much every shade is on here. I will find a way. Only half of them are metallic. See, I feel really caught up by Rhea because she was like, oh, I don't own any metallics. And I'm like, you don't own metallics? I own nothing but metallics. So what's the closest to Probably that? That's probably the closest. She's using a fluffy brush, isn't she? So I'm just doing that up there. Can you hear that? I'm gonna hope that you can't hear that and I'm just being over cautious. Uh, it's all smearing all over the palette. <laughs> this is not that bad of an eyeshadow actually, considering how cheap it is. Shush, I didn't say that. Just putting that in my 
thing. Rhea seems to spend a lot of time blending, which I'm awful at remembering to blend. I just tend to leave it. Then we have a dark brown. I need a small brush for th th this will do. God, Rhea, no wonder you blend if you do it like this. Technically, this is not the same brush as she's using, but... And then do I, I, I go back to the fluffy, I think, and I just, like, try and, try and fix all the mistake that that was. Uh, like, I never define my crease too much because I already have a really defined crease. So doing this just makes <laughs> me look really weird. That doesn't do bad. I have to remember that this is a really natural looking eye makeup and I'm like, I'm like, I can't see it. It's like, that's the point. The point is that it's natural, Helen. Oh God. Rhea, Rhea, sweetie, darling, darling sweetie. Liquid eyeliner. You're ready for a show because this is going to be dreadful. I'm awful liquid liner. And you can tell because this hasn't been used in ages because I tend to use the felt tip one instead that I have. I don't know if this cocks up too badly, I might just cry and use the felt tip one. Um. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go blobby. I can feel it. Oh. Mm. At least it's not too much of a cat flick. Just like do it slightly down, which is weird to me because I always flick up. There we go. It doesn't look too bad. I've got eyeliner all over my lashes though. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I hate you why did you say oh i really advise that you use liquid liner do you do you my dear this is a trick i've learned to use because i have really long eyelashes just like blinking against a sheet of tile to get the worst of it off because otherwise i find that when i blink i tend to leave a shadow there which might just be a sign of me over applying my mascara to be honest right now we have to do it on the other side with the eye that i'm less confident on Oh, it's so bobbly. It's because my flipping eyelash eyelashes are getting in the way, that's why. It'll do. See, it looks fine when my eyes are shut, and then I open my eyes and it looks really weird. Well, it's not like I'm going anywhere in this, so we'll call it done. <laughs> if I ever do the tutorial, I want to do a tutorial. I might do a tutorial on Janet, and if that's the case, then I will show you how I normally do eyeliner, because BB-8 is not very eyeliner heavy. Okay, now we're doing white eyeliner. I don't often do, I know this method, I've just never done it. So it's just a bit of white on the waterline, I believe. I don't have a better white liner. We're using the jumbo pencil, which is probably not good for waterlines, but we live. I feel like I'm coloring in my eyelashes more than I'm coloring in my eye. Uh, oh no, you can kind of see it. I mean, this is something that's supposed to make your eye look bigger, and I've always felt that because I have really big eyes anyway, I've never really bothered with it. That and I hate doing my waterline because it makes my eyes water, which I guess is why it's called a waterline. Anyway, that's done. I forgot something. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, get one that's open, Helen. God. Sorry. So the next thing she's doing is the, this, I have never done in my life. Uh, I think she's doing it with a brown, to be fair. I've <coughs> that up with eyeliner once it's <coughs> up, it's <coughs> There we go. That looks, that looks really stupid. Oh well. I'm, that's, that's, that's just me, you know? That's just me. <laughs> I'm awful at eyeliner. She also says, you know the drill when doing this. No, I do not, Rhea. I've never done this. I've, I don't do anime eye makeup. Right, so now mascara. Rhea uses false lashes for this. I don't own any, so I'm not gonna. And I've never put them on, and I'm kind of scared of gluing things to my eyes. She was mentioning how it's more like towards the outer side so I guess I'll just try and do that with the mascara. My eyelashes have gone really weird and spider leggy because <laughs> they're covered in liquid eyeliner. I think she has a lower lash as well which is fun. Yeah that's why I never bother with lower lash because I have really long lashes. I never realise how long they are until I've actually put mascara on them and then I'm like what? It'll do. I probably need to get a new mascara actually that's probably what this means. Okay so now we have blush. Maria's using powder blush. I don't own any so instead I'm using this which is something that I actually swear by and it's something that I got in a, cr in a Christmas stocking of all things. It's a Ted Hughes lip and cheek tint and it's not something they sell on their own. It's something that they sell in like Christmas packs with a matching nail varnish. It's that sort of like thing that you get at Boots or whatever. But I really love it for my cheeks. So, no, my camera. So Rhea tells me to just like sweep it, sweep it all the way back like that, like I'm doing a highlight. But just blend that in. I can look like a china doll. I forgot how glittery this blush is. <laughs> I especially love it on my lips because there's some kind of buttery feeling substance in it that just feels really nice and smooth. And then it's onto the lips. I've pretty much got foundation all over my lip by accident anyway, so I don't feel like I need any more. Rhea's using like a pink thing. I'm gonna try using this, which is his Barry M lip gloss. 
which I think actually I got as a gift from Meriwether Rose and I've not used it yet. So we'll give it a try. I can't do that. That's pretty similar to what she uses, I think. On her video, she mentions how she's trying to do an ombre lipstick look and it doesn't work. So let's see if I can get any better from following a tutorial where it doesn't work because I've never tried to do ombre lips in my life. I need to stop trying to talk when I'm trying to do my lips. That looks pretty sweet, actually. Okay, so then we need to put like a red right in the middle oh no my lipstick it has melted inside the thing okay this is another one of the ones that i got from ted baker i haven't actually used yet because it's such a weird color but i'm going to try it because it's brighter than the other ones that i have and all the other reds that i have are like the only other red i have is the nyx liquid suede which i think won't blend like that and i blend it do i use a brush i feel like i should use a brush yes this is a paint brush no i don't care oh dear this is brown on it let's try a different brush oh no Gold and this all has dirt on it as well. Why do I not own a single clean brush? Right, let's start over on this bottom lip. Look, look, oh, I look like God darn a dollar or something. This isn't working because I haven't got a base. My lips are going to be so unhappy with me by the end of this. Oh, shoot, that is that. Oh, that works. Or not. Is this so sticky? I kind of like how it looks though. Hmm, it's not going too bad. Mm. I'm going off the fact that Rhea said that she did it wrong in her video as carte blanche that I can just pretty much do how I please. I think I need to let this dry a bit and then we will try this. Right, dry enough. Okay. Oh, that's kind of looking alright. After doing this, Rhea then like makes it look smaller with foundation and I don't know whether I should do that or not. If she says in the video she regrets it, but I don't know. I think I'd regret it too because my foundation does not, my con my concealer even does not exactly match my foundation. Let's try a little bit of this. See, Rhea uses a liquid foundation and I think maybe I need to look into getting one. There we go. That'll do. Last things last is brows. I don't normally bother doing my brows. Why are you doing this? Oh no. My palette's falling apart. All right, let's try. I have naturally quite thick brows anyway, so I don't normally bother with filling them in. Brush like my buttons looks all right so that's the makeup look so now now we have to deal with a wig i don't have a marionette wig so i've done my best with the wig that i use for tachycoma and lapis i've done my best it looks absolutely <coughs> but i've done my best and this wig has been kept in a bag and not properly washed it needs a wash it's all messy there we go right i don't think this look too, looks too bad i'm still not sold on the waterline eyeliner on me partly because i think i'm just not dexterous enough to do it and partly i just i think it looks really weird on me i don't think it suits me i quite like the lipstick though i didn't realize how nice that pink looked on me i should probably find an excuse to use it again as i said before this is a response because uh viola power has done a video uh following my bb8 look so go and check it out and if you want to check out that bb8 makeup tutorial or if you want to give me ideas for more makeup tutorials like i said i'm considering doing one for Janet Van Dyne the Wasp. We're gonna ask Meriwether Rose to do one for Rose from Steven Universe. Any others that you're curious about, please leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see. Hope you like this. And Rhea, I hope this is as weird watching this for you as it was for watching mine first for me. Ah, no. <laughs> the eyeliner's all smearing as I wipe it off. Oh, I'm just gonna go have a shower and this is why I don't do liquid eyeliner, guys. This is just not worth. It's not worth it. <laughs>